Hello guys, how you doing? We are in Bangkok again. Short little quick trip. Quick little video for you as well. If you know a little bit about my job, you know I travel around a lot, so I spend a lot of time on planes. But I've never spent any time on a plane that looks like that. So we're here at a derelict 747 an airplane graveyard and they've got a few fuselages of other aircraft around here as well and it's pricey to get in but we've taken a quick little river taxi to get here um, which is very easy and yeah and you're allowed to just walk in pay a small fee and get in and out of all these places you want to go in this one yeah I actually don't mind giving you a foot up if you want to That's right. oh this is really creepy actually should be able to tell from the controls really, but I can't. It's weird how it actually all works. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I forgot you were sat there, I was like, Arr! Sorry. I dread to open that. Onto the big boy now, the 7-4. That's the hold, isn't it? Yeah, we're in the hold now. Jumping in. So these are all the overhead lockers, I think. Good. Oh God, it's actually creepy. So this is first at the front of the plane. Justin, the weird thing is, we have done some done some googling and stuff and had a look around. I still don't have any idea or clue why these aircraft are here, like why they got ditched here, because they obviously didn't crash land here unless it was a very long time ago. So I'm thinking they were being transported through Bangkok to get to somewhere and then they were like, screw it, we're going to dump them here. That's my thesis, my idea. If anyone else knows, leave a comment underneath, but I doubt you do. Deck of the 74. Oh,
Bye-bye. We're back on the boat now and made it back safely um, after exploring the little 747 graveyard place. Did look around to see if there was any food to have a little nibble on, um, but none of it was in English and it kind of looked like they'd stopped for lunch tonight. Yeah. There wasn't was many people there. So heading back to our area of town, they're going to get some good food lunchtime and then see what happens for the rest of the day. Probably going to take it easy. between street foodie restaurants -y, um, to get some lunch and then we've gone for because Holly never had it, Morning Glory, that's what this is called, which is basically focus. It's just a veg with soy sauce and it's just waxing a wok really, really quickly. Loads of garlic. And lots and lots of garlic and a little bit of chilli. Holly's now having some pad thai, which is one of the best I've seen actually in a while. I like peanut on And the kitty wants some. The kitty ain't getting any. It's over here. And I've ordered something just called, um, what was it? I can't remember what it's called. Spicy noodle, I think. Um, but I'm quite ha happy because it's got a ton of veg in as well, with all these peppers. And got some calamari and all sorts of stuff. 